Sun Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener and it is the April video tour. Thank you for joining me. So let's have a look around the garden and see how much it's changed since March. I think you will find it's changed quite a lot since March. As you will have seen from a previous video, we have finally got around to painting the fences, which is, was a huge mammoth task. Richard is in the middle of a project there, which I'll show you in a moment. That's why that workbench is out. But let's go around and have a look at all the plants and how they're doing. And I think you will agree that this is beautiful. That's my Osteospermum. It's only just started to bloom in the last probably week or so. And that will stay gorgeous now for months and months, as long as I keep deadheading. Let's just go around. So we've got some tulips, we have the limelight hydrangea which I pruned in a recent video. The Hebe I moved from the corner and that seems to be doing okay, that's looking good. We have a Dusty Miller. These bulbs here, I think they might be Allium, I'm hoping they are. I had a great big bag of 200 bulbs and they were all mixed. So I just put them in everywhere and then that was going to be a surprise. This is particularly gorgeous. It's the Fatsia japonica and look at those gorgeous little leaves, tiny leaves all coming out. That's so sweet. And what I normally do is when I get older leaves at the bottom I start just take those off so that it kind of raises the crown and it keeps everything looking nice and fresh. That's a little Hebe there. Now, you may remember I planted dahlias in this great big space, but I think that I planted them far too soon. I didn't realize I put them in about February time, but you're not supposed to do that. So I don't think any of those are going to come up. I think that was a mistake. Mushrooms that I painted, I need to paint the snail, which is next to it, that's another job. And the little plant in front of the mushrooms is the Aloe Cameronii, which I moved from another part of the garden and it looks as if it's okay. We have the cat, which was painted recently. I did the cloud pruning on this shrub here. That's doing okay. A little sedum at the back. Around the back here, we will have canna lilies. In fact, you can just see, which I've only just noticed, the beginning of a canna lily. Look at that. I divided these campanulas very recently and moved them because as you will know, if you've been watching all my videos, I have been clearing this whole bed so that I could start again and you will have seen a recent video we dug out, I say we, Richard dug out loads and loads of concrete from the old foundations of the pond that used to be here with the previous owners. So now finally I can plant. But as you can see, I have a huge planting area to fill. And I've ordered, for the first time ever, I've ordered plants online which I've never done before. I don't want to say which company I've used because I haven't got them yet and I don't want to recommend something uh, in case I'm disappointed. I hope I'm not disappointed. Anyway, that's the fountain which has all been cleaned and I have my mirror window there. I have ordered some trellis which we're going to put up on this fence here and this side here. And I've ordered clematis. I have four clematis, two that side and two that side. So they will all be getting planted when they arrive. They are my little topiary balls, which I moved recently, which you may have seen. Then moving on, this border is looking gorgeous. As I've mentioned before, I have tried to stick to the principle of not just having just plain green plants. You need blue, you need green, 
yellow and red and that's what I'm trying to do. This Mahonia is lovely and can you see there we've got all little berries. This Mahonia is constantly providing interest. We get yellow flowers at the beginning of the year in the winter and now we've got berries. My rose that is going to be stunning. That won't start probably till about June. And I've got lots of gorgeous little tulips. I planted all these bulbs. I had about 200 and I planted them in October. Not knowing what was what, just stuck them all in everywhere. And look at that. That's the Berberis, which I pruned really, really hard, uh, maybe a month ago. So I didn't kill it, thank goodness. I have some Sweet William here, which comes from my friend Tina's garden, which she gave me. Here we have the Osteospermum. And you may remember the white Osteospermums were in the corner bed with the fountain and I moved those, joined them with the yellow ones and they've all taken very well. I did lose one actually. There was one here, a white one, that died, so unfortunately. This is my beautiful lilac. That will look stunning probably in a month's time. You can see the buds all forming. We have a beautiful heuchera, another one, this chartreuse lime green colour. We have another fatsia and that's also got new, new leaves coming. These were the tulips that I moved from the corner bed. They've, they've been fine. I was a bit worried about them because I did it while they were all in bloom, but they've been fine. And we have a whole host of things going on here. This in particular, I don't know what it's called, but it was just a stick for months and months and months and I thought that it was dead. But it's not dead. It's just beginning to come to life again. So I don't know what it is though, unfortunately. But I will find out. There's a good app you can have on your phone called Plant Snap, and you can take a picture of the plants and it will tell you what it is. Here we have my box walkway, which has all been cleaned out and tidied. And if we look at my box tree moth trap, which I just said right the first time, which I couldn't say right in the other video. No moths as yet. Nothing in there yet. The planters I have ready for new plants. And then let's just take a look at Lottie and Lucy. We love sunbathing. So they're enjoying the sun. So Richard once we'd finished all the painting of the fences, had a great idea, didn't you, Rich? Yeah. So the idea was that this is an untidy corner. We don't actually use it to get behind the cabin. No. So I thought I'll just put something there, to make a feature of it. It's lovely. There's going to be a back into that, yeah. which you will see later. Anyway, I must crack on. There's one final thing I wanted to show you, because quite a few people. I've asked what's in the cabin. So I'm going to show you what's in the cabin. It's our office. So that's used on a regular basis. We've got some storage there. They are Richard's singing posters. He is a singer as well. And they are posters from all the events that he's done over the past few years. So that's the cabin. And 
this is my garden. This is the April video tour. I'll just show you the trees actually, because the last time we saw the trees, they were all bare. This one over on the right, it's just finished, it had blossom. That was, oh my goodness, the smell. The smell in the evenings was just so strong. It was gorgeous. So the best thing we've done is paint the fences. And as soon as my plants arrive, I can start planting. And looking forward to a few gin and tonics sitting around this table and chairs. So that's it for the April video tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a lovely time in your gardens. It's just been such lovely weather. We've been so fortunate. Please subscribe to my channel. Please have a look at my Facebook page, all called The Enthusiastic Gardener. And don't forget, keep sending me your photos and your videos and we do the monthly video montage. The next one will be on the 3rd of May. People have really contributed and it's been a lot of fun and it's nice for everyone to see each other's gardens. And thank you very much for joining me. Bye for now, bye.